I got an analysis two years ago, and this is what it looked like. The analysis said that I had 112000 on my mortgage at 5.5%, and I had a second mortgage. I had a total of $138,000 of debt, and this analysis said that I could have that paid off in 9.1 years, and that I would save about close to $80,000 in interest. I only had about $245 discretionary income, but that's money that you're supposed to have left after you pay all your bills every month. But I totally was not saving that money. Um, if I absolutely had to come up with it, I could have, but I was not saving it. I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side comparison of if I don't use the software. I had 28 years left on my mortgage, and I would pay a total of $120,000 in interest. If I use the software, at the end of the 9.1 years, I'll have everything paid off and I'll pay $40,000 of interest. So it's the difference between the $40,000 and the $120,000. That's about the $80,000 savings that they said I would have. That This graph is pretty much the same thing that I just said. And this graph is what I really, really liked. I got excited because at the end of the 9.1 years when I'm going to be debt free, if I take what I was making for my payments and I invest it over the remaining 28 years, if I invested at 4%, 5%, 6%, percent i am $548,610,000 not only will my house be paid off, but I'll have a little bit of a nest egg as well. So for me being a single mother and not really having any savings or any hope of retiring, this is hope for me. I really like that. What I'm going to do now is show you where I am currently. My payoff date, when, the date that I'll be completely debt free, is April 15th, 2012. And that means it's 3.08 years from now. The total interest I have remaining, remember the analysis said uh, $40,000. Of that $40,000, I only have $6,440 left to pay. So very awesome. The software is very easy to use. Um, if I were to pay this bill, for instance, I just highlight the line, I hit execute action, hit execute, I changed the date to the exact date, I changed the amount to the exact amount, hit execute one more time, and that's it. I'm not going to do it because I didn't actually pay that bill now, but it's that easy, very simple. Let me show you what's been happening with my mortgage. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but I just want to highlight some of the things that have been happening. If I go to my mortgage, view transaction history. If I go all the way back to the beginning, I started in February 2007, so I'm going to scroll all the way back. And February, March, April are not on here, but still in May, the balance on my mortgage is pretty close to $112,000. When I made my mortgage payment of $658, 513 of that went to interest and 144 went to principal. So the next month, less than a dollar more went to principal, just excruciatingly slow process. That's why it takes, you know, 30 years to pay off a mortgage. Well, what happened is um, the balance on my line of credit started at $25,500. And it took until, you know, February, March, April, May, June, July. By the end of August, the balance got down low enough. It did not get all the way to zero, but it got low enough that the software said, let's transfer $4,718.09. And it's that exact amount because the software knows the exact amount that's going to get me to zero in the fastest amount of time possible. It takes away the guesswork. My balance went down to 106000 In September, it said transfer 3700 My balance went down to 102. I had a really bad month in um, Oct October of 2007. My American Express bill is budgeted for $1,200, and that month it was $4,900. So, you know, luckily I just stayed right on track and kept going, and it took until the end of January for me to do another funds transfer. So the software said send 4900 My balance went down to 97000 In March, my balance, uh, I'm sorry, the software said transfer 4900 My balance went down to 91000 And then again, just a few days later, it said transfer another 4000 Now what happened here was I got my income tax refund check. It was $5,500. So I just I decided to tell the software to expect fifty five hundred dollars. It said before you do that, let's go ahead and send four thousand to the principal balance on your mortgage. But the interesting thing about that is, you know, before I started using the software, if I were to have gotten an income tax refund check, I would have just said, Woohoo, let's go spend it. I would not have thought one second about putting it on my mortgage. 
So my balance went down to 87000 In June, it, the software said send 4400 My balance went down to 82000 November, balance went down to 76000 In January, I sent 3600 My balance went down to 72000 In March, just a few weeks ago, um, the software said send 3600 My balance went down to $68,178.98. And that's where it is today. If I show you the side-by-side -side comparison again, in order for me to get down to 68000 it would have taken me 16 years. So I've been able to do in a little over two years what it would have taken me 16 years to do, provided I didn't refinance, because I refinanced twice in five years before I got this software. I just wanted to get the lowest monthly mortgage payment and it didn't even you know, bother me, I suppose, that I had to pay $6,000 each time to do that and that it reset my mortgage each time. I'm gonna show you the, um, the, the, the online banking that I have for my mortgage so you can see that that really is my balance. Actually, the next time I make my mortgage payment in April, my balance will be $67,829.38. But look at this, for the very first time, remember I showed you the first payment of $658 and um, you know, 533 went to principal and 144 went to interest. For the very first time, I'm gonna be paying more in principal than I am in interest. So 345 goes to principal, 312 goes to interest. So that's awesome. But look at this, when I look at the bank's amortization schedule, it doesn't show me being paid off until you know December 1st, 2020. And that's discouraging to me. If I were to just be using this, this, you know, to figure out where I'm at, I would be very, very discouraged. Um, and that's because the bank does not have the future funds transfers to take into consideration. So that's why I love this dashboard with the years to pay off. You know, 3.08 is exciting. It's it's something to move forward to. You know, 2020 is you know okay. It's better than where I was, but it's not exciting. I'm going to show you briefly to the um, home equity line of credit. Now you don't have to have a home equity line of credit for this software to work, but I do personally have one. And with all of those funds transfers that went on, you would think I would have a huge balance. Right now my balance is $7,444.83. If you look, I just paid the interest today. Um, for April, it cost me $17.53 to be able to do what I'm doing. Let me just show you, in March it was a little less. In March it was $15.75. So I'm paying very little interest to be able to do this. And I want to show you another reason why I love the software, because you can do these what-if scenarios. So if I were to do an unplanned action, let's say something happened and I needed to get a new roof. So um, let's just say it's going to cost me $6,000 to do that. What I can do is tell the software to expect $6,000 to come out of my line of credit. It wasn't expecting that. What that did is my years to pay off went from 3.08 to 3.4. So I added almost three months onto my payoff date and it added about $1,000 of my interest. So you can look at that a couple ways. You know, I don't want that years to pay off to go up. However, if you need a new roof, you need a new roof. So, you know, thank goodness that that's there for me that I can just pay. And 3.42 years is much, much better than 28 years. And life can happen in the opposite direction as well. So let's say that I am going to get another um, income tax refund check. And let's say that it's going to be $5,500 again. What that did to my years to pay off, it went from 3.08 to 2.92. So it took about... Um, two months off of my payoff date and it took about a thousand dollars off of my interest. So it's very exciting and, and one more thing is before before the fifty five hundred dollars gets deposited, let's send five thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars to the mortgage. So it's you know very dynamic. Every time something changes, you're not your bills are not always going to be the same every month. Um, your income is not always going to be the same every month. So every time something changes it's very dynamic and changes with you. Very exciting stuff. I definitely would not be where I am today without the software. I love it, and I hope you learned something.